In this video, we're going to show you how you can easily send your LinkChain API traces to LinkSmith, our SaaS platform, so you can use those traces to debug, to test and evaluate them, to also monitor any production application. And in this video, we'll specifically tailor it to LinkChain code, but it's also possible to send your traces if you're building another LLM powered application outside of the LinkChain framework. And we'll show that in a separate video. But if you are using LangChain, it's really simple to get up and running. You can do it in a matter of seconds. All you have to do is set a few environment variables. The first is LangChain tracing to true. You want to give your application a project name. In this case, I'm calling it planetary walkthrough demo. If you don't give it a name, it will just set to default. And all of the runs for this application will get collected and aggregated together in this planetary walkthrough demo project, which I'll show in a second. You want to give a destination. In this case, we're sending all of our traces to our cloud hosted platform at api.smith.lingchain.com. And then finally, you want to give it your LingChain API key. This is really the API key that you create in your LingSmith account, and it's tied to your tenant. Uh, and I'll be sure to delete this API key after the demo to make sure that there's not any misuse of, of my token. But that's all you have to do to get up and running. And I'll walk through this code uh, pretty quickly. But just a reminder, the way it works is Langsmith is not hosting my application in this scenario. The code is actually running on my computer, but it's collecting all of my traces because when we install the LingSmith SDK, there's a callback function to that API destination that I've set uh, up top along with my authentication, which is my API key. And then all of my traces will get sent to LingSmith, which is hosted in the cloud. We have options if you want to self-host LingSmith as well, but the code is actually going to run on my computer and the traces are getting stored in LingSmith. Think about it as an aggregator of traces, just like an observability tool. So if I take a quick look at this code, we're not going to go too deep into it, but uh, I'm running an agent uh, using Ling Chain Expression language. It has access to a couple of tools, a search tool and an LLM math tool, calculator tool. It's going to use OpenAI functions as the underlying LLM. Uh, we've given it a prompt that we've pulled in from our hub in LingSmith. Uh, this, this prompt is, is a pretty simple one. It just says that you are a smart uh, AI uh, assistant, which I can show in a separate video, um, how to define prompts and how to pull it into your code. So just take a mental note of that. Uh, and then it's going to, going to use a scratch pad to keep track of its thoughts as well as a chat history. Uh, and then we're going to run this agent against these questions, these inputs that I've seeded it. And we're going to see what that looks like in LangSmith. So we'll run it now. And then if I go to LangSmith, this is uh, in my projects, this is the planetary walkthrough demo. And we can now see that there are a number of runs uh, happening right now. They're in action, which is this uh, purple running symbol. And a few have already completed. These are running in parallel, so you don't have to serially have the agent answer these questions. Uh, and we're going to show exactly what are the outputs of, of these traces in, a, in the next video.